Hello everyone and welcome to the final Yosemite Valley Aquarium tour. Today we are going to check out the Yosemite Aquarium. And as you can see, this is a whole leap forward from the last episode. For those of you who have been in my live stream, they already know what's going on. But um, yeah, we are going to have the tour today and I'm going to show this to you at night time. I have to admit, it still looks a little bit lifeless, um, which I think it's mostly due to the fact that there are no animals in and stuff like that um, and people don't really stand in here to have a look. But anyways, if you like it and you do enjoy the content as always, I would really appreciate if you guys consider subscribing. It helps me grow the channel, uh, you know, to put me in position to, to make uh, this content for you guys and I really hope you just enjoy it. So let's go in. Um, we are going down into this wonderful entrance. Thank you again to Ricey for the wonderful font and boom, there we go. We are in the first area. Let's just wait until the light adjusts and the reason why I do it at night time is not because it looks super phenomenal um, it really doesn't I would love to have it a lot darker but it gives actually the um, uh, the habitats a bit more of a proper view down to the fact how the lighting engine works so here you can see to the right hand side this is the tropical fish area um, obviously for those of you who are wondering new to the game new to the videos I don't know if you are but obviously we have no fish in the game, so this is just uh, a matter of a style thing and just a fictional little bit we are building here. So, that is this, um, and turning around to the other side, this is the implied sea turtle habitat, and if we have a little look in here, you can see there are a lot of rocks where they could just swim down under and just enjoy this uh, habitat quite a lot. And yeah, I think it's just very nice uh, how, it, how it turned out to be. And if we turn around, you have this little bubble uh, art style down here with some waves in the water, some education going on. You can sit down and you can have already a glimpse up into this area, which is not really that much lit, but I intentionally didn't do this to make sure the stuff is highlighted that needs to be highlighted. You will see once we are up. Um, yeah, to the left hand side, we have a bit more of an overgrown little uh, middle habitat. I imagine this to be for some smaller, maybe local fish or something that you would have in here to continue the tour. And yeah, as I said, this tour is more like from a shore, um, you know, you know, seaside, like beachside area. We are going always deeper into the ground. So to the right hand side, we have some vending machines that are heavily used. Before we do this, uh, we are basically turning right into the backstage area real quick because I want to show you guys that this is not only like an implied area. Let's just go through here. No, there is actually a backstage area in here. So there's a ladder to climb up onto this uh, tropical fish habitat if needed. And then if we go all the way down here, you can see, boom, there is a fully fledged uh, backstage area to this aquarium. We have a lot of nice lighting going on. Uh, the lighting engine, just everything works so well together. It looks so cool. And yeah, we've got some electricity, but we have also all the pipe works that is needed, which is filling in the whole habitats. And here you have the backstage access to the staff rooms, to both sides, you know, there's everything they need in here, uh, where they can get the food, where they can basically prepare everything. We have some notes even here on the on the board. And yeah, just in general, I just wanted to show you, we have a fully fledged backstage area. Let's quickly go back into the actual aquarium. So this is where we go. And they can see a girl just jumping at us. She's happy. Boing, boing, boing. Okay. Oh, she's getting something from the vending machine. Here we have another little seating area with a bit more of education uh, down here, where obviously all the screens are empty because we don't have any animal in here. And then boom, there we have the big skeleton, which I changed slightly to your um, feedback, guys. So I did do and change this to a bit more of a really humpback whale thing. So mostly I did the lower... Um, mouse section. I redid this a little bit so make it a bit more adjusted. It's not perfectly fine but the gutter pieces don't really offer too much flexibility so I left it the way it is right now. I think for the for the fact that it is actually in scale and stuff, it really looks cool to have it hanging down here. It's nicely lit by some, you know, uh, lights in the planters. But if we go further, you cannot see already a, a glimpse of the deep sea habitat, which I am still... I think overall this is still my favorite habitat because the positioning, the, the part where it is in the story and stuff, it just all works together. We have another little access to backstage. You, you know, if you go in here, you have the access to this um, wonderful... 
um, big tank in here and you can see this is the deep sea tank and I worked actually pretty clever with the lights so it really implies that you can see the foreground but you can't really see the background so if you imagine having some reef sharks or like smaller sharks swimming in here and they swim to the back of the tank you can't really see them anymore and it almost almost appears like as if they are going in the deep seas so you can see like a shipwreck over here um, there are also some easter eggs it hidden in as I said but yeah so there's a whole kind of cool stuff in here you can see with all the stuff that they have they can swim around some plants and I think it looks fairly cool yeah we would also have some indication in here and we also would just going a little bit further into here we would have another backstage access that is just granted to here and then you could go up there and have access to this tank so now continuing on the journey we have a little bit of a nice um, you know rest area where you can have a glimpse of the moon and the whale that's actually pretty damn sick framing over here i kind of love this uh look i just okay this is pretty cool haven't seen it so far yeah also i used a lot of headlights um mostly for daytime to make it look still pretty nice in here obviously you know the problem about planet zoo and the daylight scenes and yeah, if we continue further in here, um, this looks a bit weird, but this is connected to the glass. I might change this slightly to make this look a bit more nice, as if the column is really connected, just as I see it, uh, it might make sense. You can also see the glimpse, this is really actually in Yosemite, it's not like put somewhere else to have good performance or whatnot. It actually is still a decent performance in here, I gotta say, even with people moving around. So yeah, it's in Yosemite and I really dig how this is looking. So at this point over here, you have a glimpse inside the harbor habitat which we will look a, into a bit better from below but for the moment that's what you have and we can also get a little uh, tour to this side here to have a look from the other side there, there's by the way the chapel this has to be the kangaroo habitat in the foreground and i think to the right hand side the fennec fox habitat with the ape house the mandrels living over there so yeah you have kind of cool views from from this angle but this is like obviously backstage and then you have to glimpse inside this wonderful aquarium from this side as well, where you have the pier, you know, you can actually walk on the pier and you see going stuff going on down here. Maybe have some sea lions and I don't know. Uh, that would be lovely. And then we just go out of it uh, via this route again. So there you go. And then obviously over here you turn over to the bridge and as you have seen from down there it looked a bit dark. But I wanted to keep it fairly dark because the light mostly comes here to the little path thing. So you have it at, the, at your feet and mostly as I was figuring in aquariums you have it pretty dark in there to focus really on the tanks and stuff itself. Uh, you have another nice glimpse onto the whale skeleton here pretty nice stuff indeed i guess and then yeah this is the wonderful area where you have the most light going in this is the padding pool for the stingrays as you can see there are the implied stingrays in and yeah you have another bit of education going on there's another backstage access if needed and you can still go around here and um, yeah just have a glimpse into the rest of the zoo there's the camel habitat on the other side this is the actual current sea lion habitat that you can see over there so maybe if you just go a bit closer you can have a better view if the screen if the window wouldn't be that much reflective but yeah this is where it is where they have the viewing um and yeah just in general you have a nice view there's the night house on this side so it's really coming nicely together people running around here um and yeah height wise it also works now with the padding pool people could actually look into it uh and I assume we might have like a little step or whatever where they can just step on and then pet the animals. This is what I most likely saw in actual zoos happening. So you have like a little step, people can tap on it and then just interact with the keeper or the trainer and the pets itself. So we also obviously have a connection with the pipe work, obviously. And then if we go further, the security man is feeling really strong today. He's done his chest his chest workout today. I'm quite sure he did. But yeah, if we go further, you can see there is another little glimpse down here in the sea turtle habitat to the left, if it is needed. What is even going on here? This is so weird. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of nice. I blocked the view to the backstage with some plants. I think that works fine. And then as we had a little glimpse into this big tank on top here, we are now approaching the actual star of the show down here, which is the second part of the uh, jellyfish tank. We haven't really looked too much into it. I just jumped that because I have to redo some stuff in there, um, which is not for now. I really hope that this is something I change later. This is another glimpse into the sea turtle uh, habitat. Really nice. And 
yeah, to the right hand side now, or in the middle, you can see the big old jellyfish tank where I imagined them floating up and down. That could be really cool. There's a new um, exit way over here, which I'm not going to step out because I've done already quite a lot of work behind there um, for the next episode. So there's quite a lot of stuff happening. Um, if you've seen my live stream, and here's again the shameless plug, if you want to see me live, there's a link to my live stream channel down below in the description. You might just click on it and follow me over there as well because that's going to give you the notification whenever there is a live stream. So yeah, this is the last big habitat you can look into and this is the lower part of the harbor habitat. We've seen from above, we've seen the pier, maybe you've seen the sea lions jump out or whatnot, but here you can actually see them from actually in the water and you've, you've basically the wonderful view to this big old anchor piece as a little uh, stylish thing. And just to show you, I rounded off all the edges in the habitats, as you guys were saying. You can't even see in the back, it's again with the seep, uh, deep uh, sea implied uh, technique. You can't really tell too much, but I just did just round off all the stuff. Yeah, no, I mean, there are no... There are no animals hidden in here or kept in here. I, I promise. There's no animal hurt in this aquarium. Because we have any. Okay, so <laughs> this is how it looks from over here. And then um, you have another glimpse into the middle habitat from over here. You can even see the lights being uh, put there. So maybe I'm going to close off this upper layer so you can't see them. I found this idea kind of cool that you can see them. But then again, it looks a bit weird from over here, so maybe we're just going to scrap that. And yeah, there's the exit to this side, and we're just going to take this exit road so you can see where we are basically coming off. And this is, boom, there you go, you're greeted with this lovely area. Uh, a, little bit of, a little bit of foliage and stuff here, left-hand side, African area, and uh, just to the top, again, the weenie of this entire thing, which is called the Half Dome, and to the right-hand side, you've got the Elephant House. And uh, this is the aquarium, guys. I am a big fan of it. I really enjoyed building it, but I'm also quite happy to move on from now on. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tour. I um, really would highly recommend, in case you haven't seen the building uh, of this, make sure to jump in uh, to the little uh, aquarium series, build series. This is really interesting, and so you understand a bit better what is what and why I did things the way I did them. And yeah, for now, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope you guys stay safe, have a good time, and I catch you, as always, in the next one.